It's taken me about five minutes to find somewhere with a different view. Somewhere with a different view that isn't dazzling me. As soon as if I move forward here, I'd be dazzled because I'm right at the side of the house and the sun's bouncing off the wall. Um, and then I just got ready and then the cars start coming past. Uh, not sure what happened yesterday. We were absolutely knackered. Too tired to even go to, to art. And, and I and I don't understand why. Um, um, I don't understand why because we were tired and we hadn't actually we did some stuff in the afternoon, but we hadn't actually really done much. Um, but yeah, we're just so tired. Um, so Vicky came in the morning and cleaned, um, and it's lovely having the house cleaned, but it's also difficult when you're tired because you just want to shut down and you can't because there's somebody in the house um, and um, I did some dinner and I emptied the tumble dryer and put quite a bit of washing on we got quite a bit of bedding because the boys have been here and so we decided we were gonna have to put up a washing line because we haven't had a washing line um, since before the micro station so um, over a year ago Mark took the washing line down so that um, they could come into the garden and um, you know do what they had to do and then we weren't able to put the line back in the same place because the topography had changed and it would be too steep it's too steep there now to stand and hang stuff on the line and plus we've had trees taken down so we've got this one walnut tree um, left that we can hang a line from um, so we finally worked out what we were going to do. So Mark's attached um, bolts to the side of the house and then looped it around the tree. But it's not the same. It's not the same. When we walk past, um, we walk past these windows, we could look out see the washing floating on the line wind behind it sometimes and it was really lovely seeing it flapping around i know we haven't got any wind today and that might flap around but it's just it's not the same we can't see it as we walk past but tompy that's where it's going to be and i've got another load that needs to go out later but the new lawnmower came yesterday um it came at 1:30. Um, but he was just too tired to even contemplate getting on it even though he says that or has said in the past that um, mowing the lawn's not really a problem because it's you know, he's sitting on it and just driving but actually wasn't up for it yesterday so I'm hopeful that he'll do it today I'll bring that washing down so it makes it a bit easier although I think that the end this end nearest me um, down here is going to need strimming because um, there's loose stones and we picked up a load of rocks around the bottom of the walnut tree yesterday and picked up a load of branches that had come down in the wind um, so that he doesn't mow over them but he, yeah I think he'll strim this bit um, so yeah hopefully he's gonna mow later and hopefully he feels less tired today um so yeah we were just i don't know i don't know why we were so tired i'm still struggling with my um whatever <laughs> just i'm on extra steroids and even yesterday with the extra steroids it didn't it made no difference till about 10 o'clock in the evening which is a pain in the arse then because you're nearly going to bed so this morning when i got up i was up at 6 30 i think and there was a sunrise over there and um it was looking pretty so i started a time lapse um thing for my cloud channel but actually the sunrise didn't i think i'd probably missed the best of it so it just gradually paled out and there weren't a lot of clouds but there were a lot there was a lot of aircraft not this sort of aircraft
that sort of aircraft, <laughs> thankfully. Oh, I thought that was a third one. Rarely do we get a third one. They normally make me jump when we get three because I'm only expecting two. Um, so yeah, there were a lot of aircraft um, coming over, which sort of added a bit of interest to the to the, the vlog, the video. So I spent a bit of time sort of adding music to it, um, which I'm enjoying doing. And I'm enjoying just, I think I'm enjoying doing it because it's like, if it's no good, I won't publish it. If it's lovely, I'll publish it. The, the air's not very active at the moment, so, that, you know, there's very little, very little in the way of cloud. But I'm looking forward to when, you know, the air gets busier and... A bit late. Um, I'm looking forward to when the air gets busier and the clouds are moving during the time-lapse sequence. I should have let them know, shouldn't I? I should have said, I'm busy, don't, I'm recording, don't fly over. So yes, I'm enjoying doing that. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to some more active um, sky. Um, and that'll be interesting. And uh, I'm recording from outside at the back. That is the, actually the, some. it so far has been the better view across um across across there into that gap so I'll um yeah I'm enjoying doing that and it's like I'm just doing it for my own pleasure and um I do this for my own pleasure I enjoy doing this a lot as you can tell um but the cloud one is it just feels a bit more creative um yeah, a bit more creative. I mean, I'm not creating the clouds, but I'm enjoying choosing what to record and choosing music to go with it. So it feels a bit creative. There's a lot of free music on um, on YouTube that I can choose from and I can filter it so I can look for something that's calm, look for something that's a shorter than a certain amount of time. It's a bit difficult. I want, when I'm doing the cloud one, I want, the genre to be soft not calm but there isn't a soft there's only calm and some of what they think is calm is not calm to me I might if I start to run out of decent choices of music I might invest in epidemic sound because it's there's a vast vast library of sounds and um yeah just for my enjoyment um you never know one time, one day it might be monetized, but that's not really why I'm doing it. As you know, I don't do this for that. So, um, yeah. So today I will, if he is going to mow, I will do a time lapse of that just for fun. Um, yeah, just for fun. It looks really lovely, the mower. Um, it looks taller. I think he's sitting up more on it. It looks a bit bigger than the one that we um, are giving to Ludo. Ludo's coming to collect that tonight. Um, I don't know what he'll do with it. Knowing Ludo, he'll do something with it or try and sell it. it he won't have any, 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 is it compunctions or any morals about getting it from us for free and then selling it on? It, it won't even occur to him. And it's like, well, we don't care. We don't want it. You can have it. Do what you want with it. But yeah, he's going to come and pick it up tonight. It's parked over um, with the logs in the log pile at the moment and it looks very sorry for itself it is honestly it is so old and you know it, it's been battered around this garden that's the other thing it's like we've got a nice spanking brand new lawnmower which the other one was when we first got it i can't remember what we paid for it but we bought it from intermarche one of the you know supermarket um brico um departments and you don't get any backup with um, when you buy equipment from those sort of places so he had wanted in the past to buy from um, where he got parts and spares for because he got on well with the the, the owner there and um, you know that you're going to get back up 
ultimately when we did go there to buy it they'd moved and when we went up to where they'd moved to which was our old VW garage um, it wasn't the same proprietor so um, the guy that sold us this is um, is a lot younger I don't know what whether you know it was he bought the business or whether it was handed on to him whether he's the son of the the old proprietor um, so but we will get back up from there which is good if there are any problems um, so yeah looking forward to seeing this what he'll do is um he doesn't mow it perfectly he'll do swathes so big pathways through which is you know which is a much easier way of doing this he's got a big area to miss over there until ludo can bring his trailer on and get rid of some of that stuff which hopefully he'll do soon <laughs> fingers crossed Right, so I've had two coffees and that's it. I can't have any more. I'm doing tuna steaks for dinner and they are such thin tuna steaks. Um, I ordered them in my online shopping and probably they would have been a better choice if I'd gone to the fish counter. And so they look thin. They're vacuum packed, so they might puff up a bit when they open. But I'm sort of struggling to think what to do with them because we had quite a big salad last night with... Um, the remains of the crustless quiche I made so I'm gonna serve them on a bed of green beans and garlic and maybe a few hash browns and that will be dinner it's not quite as fancy as I wanted for the tuna steaks but I need to use them today and my energy levels are um, uh, we'll get what we get if we're lucky right so have a nice day it's Friday um, oh, and for some of you, it's not Friday. Where are we? Some of you are just going to bed. And some of you are getting married in the morning, Joe and Irma. But that you're getting married in the morning. So probably in about 12 hours time, if my timing's correct. Because you're in New Zealand New Zealand. So have a lovely day and I'll be really disappointed if you're not wearing dresses. Bye.